<laughs> Wave, my inner soul, make a village glow. You can see the rail through my inner scope. Real grows with a field coat. Get my spirit to the pin stroke. Young Westbrook and the rim is low. Sweet tang when I fall through. When I hit the queen with the give and go, I be getting close. Literally bought this Norfolk. I literally. What the f I bought this Norfolk Pine. Nor. Norf. Son of a bitch. So I bought this Norfolk Pine four years ago for Allie for her birthday. And look at it, it's massive and it lives in our bedroom and it's in the way of the shot. But today, an April favorites video. Stuff in the month of April that I really enjoyed that I feel like you guys will also enjoy. I love YouTube videos like this, so I'm making another monthly favorites video. Let's get right, without further, without further ado, let's, let's get, let's jump into the video. Overall, how do you think that intro sounded? Much better than the first time you did it. <laughs> This is Greater Goods Fresh Perspective Strawberry Jam Blueberry Honey Round Finish. On the lighter side, so more caffeine. Get it? What? Clearly need this. <laughs> Ethiopian beans. We've got a lot of Greater Good coffee lately, and this has just stood out. This has been like the yearly favorite. Whole bean, always grind your coffee beans when you can. This is probably our third, fourth bag of this. Is there a better sound in the world? I'll wait. Is there a better smell? I'll wait. Can I do both? Let's see. Can he film and film and pour? The only skill I have in the world is this. <laughs> That's sad. When you don't do just like traditional machine drip coffee, you really have to like, I mean you're completing a task in the first 10 minutes of being awake and it's it's really hard on days you don't want to get up but really rewarding once you do it. It just feels very adult. This is very like, we're not 20 Sean anymore, we're, we're 30 Sean. And we're owning it and we're accepting it and we're loving it and we're appreciating it and this segment's over. Nobody cares, Sean. She done. Is there a better sound? I'll wait. So a lot of times what happens with these small batch coffee roasteries, it like says all the things that it's supposed to taste like and it's so faint and you can barely even really tell and sometimes it's like actually really bitter and like not good. Greater Goods, one of the first companies I found were like top to bottom their coffee lineup. Everything comes through so well. I think they really nailed the flavors. And fresh, oh my God. It's just so deep, like the flavor runs so deep. It's a black cup of coffee. I don't put anything in my coffee traditionally. I mean, that's just so nice. Hi. I just need you to make a correction that I found greater good. I found greater good, and then Allie was like, wow, that was a great find by you. Correction subtitle across the bottom. If you're okay spending a little bit more money, this is like 19 bucks a bag, try it out. Like if you just need a little something new, a little pizzazz going into post-vax life, and you're like, I'm gonna be a coffee influencer now, like, just do it, and I promise you're gonna like this. And guess what? I don't get paid a dollar. You already knew that, like, to say that. Moving on. Okay, so the next favorite thing, I know, I know. The freaking Peloton app, I know. A Peloton? It's currently 7.30 in the morning, and um, I'm, I really drank the Kool-Aid on this one. <laughs> oh yeah! You know, you can't deny greatness, and this app, in terms of fitness, is just greatness, and it helps that my friend pays for it, and I just have a guest profile, so it's free. I could probably send her a card or something. See, that's Colleen, and then there's, I have me, there's me, and then that's my profile. And you know, here's the thing, I'm sick and tired of coming up with workouts, and I just want to be told what to do, and I want to do strength training, and this app's insane. Like it's just so easy to pick, like go between all these different things. Strength, yoga, cardio, meditation, running, outdoor, cycling, stretching, tread boot camp, bike boot camp, walking. You kinda like fall in love with instructors and then you just wanna take their classes. So specifically, if you're looking for a recommendation, Jess Sims. Jess Sims, Jess, Jessica Sims. Embrace that burn smile on your face. See, it's great because you can take it on the phone, the iPad, the computer, whatever, or you can like play it on your Amazon Fire Stick or your smart TV. So like we're gonna do a workout, a 30 minute strength workout. It's gonna be done. I'm gonna burn a bunch of calories. And I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. It's just a fantastic, I've been doing it a lot in April. And I feel really good. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Pretend like you're gonna leave. Just one shot of Hennessy. Next thing you run over me, all over me. 
So yeah, if you need your ass kicked and you don't want to think about it, hell 10. So you want to do 20 minutes of yoga? Uh... Then find a neutral spine right between She's working out again, for real! Okay, so good news, I recently got my second vaccine. Feeling strong. Allie made me a smoothie, strawberries. Stra <laughs> Stra strawberries. Not fat Greek yogurt, whey protein. Blueberry, is there blueberries? Is there blueberries in there? Here it comes. We're at that like turn of the, turn of the seasons, you know? Where it's like, winter's gone, spring's here. And everyone's just like, there's a pandemic, everyone's just getting sick as fuck. And there's a little thing at the grocery store I've been obsessed with for, you know, decreasing inflammation, boosting my immune system, reducing swelling. You know, like if you get the second vaccine, some people have like a reaction. These are very good for all of that stuff. Health properties with three Z's. You guys gotta get these, so let's go to Jewel Osco. On <laughs> Division, Division Street? It should have been Division Avenue. That just sounds cool. Division Street. <laughs> I'm losing my f mind, dude. My grocery store is a 45 second drive from my house, but I'm tired. They make these streets like two cars can't even go by each other. Like one car has to be all submissive and like go all the way to the side so the other car can go. Why did they? This guy just walking, not on the crosswalk, just in the middle of the street. He does look like Carl Winslow though from Family Matter, so I'll give him a pass. Go with that feeling. See where it takes you. So many fun adventures on a 45 second drive, you know? This road is completely torn up. Just one giant rumble strip. And this van in front of me thinks I was filming them. <laughs> That's always awkward. <laughs> I didn't think I could recreate it. Maybe don't buy that coffee. Putting your flashers on in a parking lot is a bold choice. That just like, to me goes, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm doing. Cool, 75,000 people here, that's cool. We made it, Jewel Osco. It's like the really popular grocery store here. It's like a Kroger. All right, let's go snag this fun thing that I'm gonna show you. You're promoting the shingles vaccine. Allie said we needed more strawberries, so. These all look like shit. Okay. Strawberries. I've been in here 30 seconds and 50 people have been staring at me. So this is Jewel. <laughs> Alright. Got it. Oh. Okay. The next April favorite. Al, I got strawberries. They're four dollars. If you want to Venmo me. <laughs> Vibe Organic Immunity Boost. Oh, that looks terrible. I do better in a controlled setting. Can you tell? Vibe Organic Immunity Boost, a four-pack, doctor crafted. These saved my ass the last couple weeks. It's just such a jolt of like health and good feeling, and they punch your throat, dude. Jun j ginger fruit, ginger root, turmeric root, echinacea root, echin. Echin nastia. Black pepper, pepper that activates the turmeric. They're little shots. <laughs> Do people just come, I guess I'm vlogging in a parking lot. Do people just come to these parking lots and just blast music and sit in their cars? I remember in high school we used to just like go to the Meyer parking lot and hang out. 
but we were 16, we had nowhere else to go. Bars wouldn't let us in. And there were like hookah lounges, like that was a cool thing to do. Puff some smoke, dude. You guys want a refill on this strawberry lemonade hookah, dude? These are little, they're little two ounces. And I'm telling you right now, if you, these probably be great for hangovers. This is just good if you wake up and you feel like you're starting to have like that little tickle in your throat, or you feel like you need a little, like uh oh, something's coming. There's just something about ginger and turmeric. But I will say, the black pepper and the ginger in such a concentrated form, it's a little alarming at first, but you get used to it. All right, ready? Guy's just making eye contact with me as I do this. I mean, why are you just sitting in a parking lot? Oh! Whoo! That is just liquefied health. God, it feels good. What is Echinacea root? And also, this is shout out to great friend, Mr. Patrick Welby, for letting me know about these. Allie introduced me to like, the, another thing Allie did, introduced me to these shots like a couple years ago, but I kind of like, I don't know, I've been super healthy. But now with like coronavirus and everything, it's been really nice. Like Patrick turned me on to those in there. Like he was doing them right before his second shot and then after and just like being the epitome of an Irish healthman. Anyways, what were we doing? Oh yeah. Echa nasty. Okay, I guess we should learn how to say it before I read the definition. It is so hot in here. Should I turn the air conditioning on? Pronounce. Okay. It's just, it's just gonna sound like shh. Okay, wow, that, okay, feel better. All right, here we go, here's how you say it. Echinacea. 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 Okay, it's got echinacea root and flower, and the health benefits, it is used to shorten the duration of the common cold and flu and reduce symptoms like sore throat, cough, and fever. Echinacea. Echinacea. Maybe that's the April favorite. What's up, guys? This April favorite that I'm sh shouting out to you is, I love echinacea. root and flower. So make sure to check out, anytime you see Echinacea. Anywhere, make sure to buy it. Shout out to... Echinacea. I mean, I hate myself just as much as you do. Next item. Song still slams, dude! Oh, wow. Look at that. Chicago in a nutshell. How beautiful. All right, I'm gonna stop and do something very nice. I know Allie needs to use the car, so I'm gonna put gas in the car, because it's running pretty low. And then she's gonna get in the car later and be like, holy crap, holy S-balls, dude. He put gas in the car. He didn't need to do that. But you know what? Also, what's your favorite gas station? I, this is the stupidest channel in the world. I am a big Speedway fan, but they don't have any anywhere near me. I'm like a Speedway boy ride and die, dude. But uh, my favorite in the city is Shell based on cleanliness, overall price, and vibe while pumping and being done pumping. And also pretty decent selection of snacks and drinks. However, I was almost mugged at this shell and I continue to come. Is this the worst video you've ever watched? Shout out to that 87 life, dude. One time when I had a Jeep Wrangler, I stopped for gas and the pump got stuck in my tank and they had to like come and like rip it out, like literally rip it out. It was like stuck in there. There was something that went wrong. And I think about that every single time I pump gas now. Yeah, it wasn't done. It just clicked. Come on. Is it full? This guy's gonna come talk to me, so let's hurry up. Yeah, I want a receipt, dude. I want to prove that, how is this $30? Okay, and cool. I've never not been talked to. Maybe I don't like Shell. All right, where do I need to go now? Every time I leave a gas station, I feel like I forgot something. I once did a trivia, I was like the host of a trivia game show. We were giving away gas cards when I lived in Florida. And the dude was so excited that he got selected and he won. He left the gas pump in his car and drove away and ripped out of the machine. And I also think about that every single time I go to the gas station. You know, I like these favorites videos when I kind of like vlog it like this instead. It's like way more casual and it's like you guys are hanging out with me. It feels a little too preachy the other way, you know? So maybe I'll start doing them like this. I mean, who cares, right? I'm doing them for fun. I'm like, <laughs> so relatable. <laughs> Don't copyright this video, please. I need the income, even though it's gonna be about $4. My turn. Okay, yeah, two people can go from the same thing. That's totally fine. I'm 
I'm gonna switch to the butt plug tripod. Don't buy these, by the way. Okay, I realize it's like terrible lighting, but it's noon and it's, you know, where the sun is. Okay, don't need to mansplain that. All right, next item is a tripod that I think all of you guys should get if you literally film anything. This is the Manfrotto Pixie Evo two section mini tripod for, I think it's 40 bucks, 38.19. Okay, so for people that only film like little hobby things or need like a very easy basic tripod, I feel like everybody just uses these pieces of crap like that do not hold even a cell phone. Like if you put this on a ledge and we're shooting a time lapse or want to set something up, there's a good chance this falls and cracks your screen. Do not buy these, don't be suckered in by these. This is the original version of it, which I love. This is only $24.99. Uh, you can put a little cell phone thing on top of it if you want. Ball heads, you can go all the way around almost. You can't do like a 180 like Instagram like vertical shot, but this thing is incredible. It can screw onto a big camera, like a DSLR, or you can obviously have your phone on it. I saw this thing came out and this is literally like that version of it on steroids. It's like its father. It, it Look at this, okay, it's adjustable, so you can go real low with it, or you can adjust out. It has full 360, and then also you can go fully down like this. So if you wanted to do a cell phone vertical shot, like if you're filming IG Lives, you wanna set up your camera for like photos, for like Instagram, what am I doing? Also, it has its own little screwer thing on here, so you don't have to be like, you know like normally on tripods, you have to turn it all yourself and move it? This thing has a little turnstile, so you can just turn the turnstile, and it's boom, done. That's real, you don't realize how much you need that until you have it. Check that out, you can go full vertical. How great is that? And then if you wanna literally, you literally just, I'm filming everything myself, so you just do this. See, check that out. Boom, now it's horizontal, now it's landscape. How nice is that? And this thing is just so cool looking. It looks like a little like spider. Look at that, perfect for like vlogging or whatever you're trying to do. These really grip really well, it's got a little rub. See, this thing is just going, I'm not touching it, it's just going. These Jobies, man, don't buy this Joby tripod. I'll just continue to do this. So anyways, until this totally falls off, I'm gonna switch to the butt plug tripod. Don't buy these. Until this totally falls off the ground. This <laughs> has little rubber feet that won't do that. Look at that, look how fast this is. Boom, didn't have to twist the whole camera around. And boom, you can go like this, bring this way out, flip this screen around, look at this. Are you kidding? This thing for $40 is such a steal. And they're gonna sell out. Manfrotto always sells out of this stuff. So buy this. If you wanna go so low to the ground, it has like a latch where you can like literally shoot this low. And then if you want it to be higher, you put it back up. Oh wow, and it locks them in place up here. You got such a range of options. Seriously, get one of these. I think you're gonna love it. All right, let's go home. <laughs> Did I make a voice crack? Hi, let's go home. Hey right, guys, let's go home now. It's gonna be 70 today. I'm in all black and a sweatshirt and black jeans. Good job, Sean. Run, baby, run. All right, we're home. Let's take all these clothes off and change completely. And, you know, change the complete ISO of this video. Outfit makes no sense for today, so. Instantly, instantly better. Wow. <laughs> All right, the fifth and final thing requires some boneless chicken thighs. I put my camera in the refrigerator. So this could have been on January, February, March. This could have been on every favorites video. I've been wanting to highlight Louisiana's air fryer stuff for a while, today's the day. The best way to eat chicken, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You have to be living under like a series of rocks to not know that I'm obsessed with my air fryer. And I love crispy chicken, but I'm not gonna like deep fry my own chicken all the time. That's like borderline insane. So the air fryer, if you buy this air fryer coating, I like to do a little egg wash, the full egg, not the white, not the yolk, the whole thing. I'll pop this bad boy open, it's literally just a, bag of powder, flour, spices, garlic, onion, amongst other things. The egg wash, this is what egg wash is, and that makes it all sticky and like obviously gross, but beauty is pain. And then you go ahead and pop this baby in the, uh, the powder and you really coat it. This is similar to like a shake and bake or you know, you could use panko breadcrumbs. There's just something about Louisiana's that's so refreshing. That's not the right word, but it is. There's just something about it, it's really nice. And boom, you kind of have that. So I'm just gonna do two for lunch today. Get out, big hoss. What's up, big boy? And then we're just gonna drop these in here. And we spread it out. And then any of the excess, I really, <laughs> I don't like to waste. I grew up in a household of not wasting, so we're not wasting. So we're gonna use every little bit of these crumbs. 
gonna go 360. For two of those, I mean, it's only gonna take, I'm gonna flip them like five minutes in. It's only gonna take like 12 minutes. Welcome to Sean's settings. So fast, so Midwest, so fast. I'm washing my cutting board. So when I jump cut to the next scene, you don't think I put cooked chicken on raw chicken. I know you comment it. Time to flip. It smells erotic. We're getting a nice brown here, so let's go ahead and... All right, back in. Probably another six minutes. What do you want? Let's see if we can get him to come up here. Up here, Lionel. Up here. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Mr. Lionel Bean. Good boy. All right, thanks for playing. <laughs> All right, meat thermometer makes literally everything easier. Well, not everything, just things with meat and food. Everything, yeah. You won't get divorced if you buy one of these. All right, we're just, we're at 165. Watch how sexy this looks. Woo! It like falls apart, it's so tender. Look at that air fryer, no oil. Air fryer, did it again, dog. Found it. Also, doesn't this look restaurant quality? Like these end pieces. It's so stupidly easy. Seriously, get this stuff and let me know that I changed your life forever. All right guys, that's the April Favorites video, five of them. Uh, all the links below if you want more information. We got them all strewn about. This symbolizes Peloton. <laughs> I love making these videos. Uh, let me know if there's anything you think that I should know about in the month of April, and we're almost to May. April was like a, like a sneeze. Like I sneezed and all of April went by. I made this chopped chicken sandwich to eat this chicken that we made here together today. It's got some of the raised chicken sauce on it from SBR. Look at how amazing that thing looks, huh? I might be the sandwich, sandwich prince of Chicago. A lot of people are saying it. See you very soon for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the video and uh, like it and all that fun stuff. And damn. Oh my God. Am I a culinary genius? Dude, I also look, I look just like the Eve 6 guy. Burn by like a wicked cat, find nothing but faith in nothing.